Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profodex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Editor Framework Beginner Tutorial. This is our part number 42. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about what are hooks, how can we start working with hooks and type of hook points. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Coding Editor Framework Tutorial. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about several things relating with our hooks. Okay, so firstly, before understanding all these things, we need to cover actually the basics of hooks in Codeigniter. So if I move to next slide, so what basically hook in Codeigniter? Hooks are events which can be called before and after execution of a program. What basically it means? To understand these features, if I go to browser, now let's understand basically what this app flow chart means. This is our application flow structure, means how can you code igniter program flows. This is our index.php, means our index file at the root folder. Now when we load any code igniter application at browser, the first file called, it is called index.php. Now after opening this file, it goes to routing, means what the URL we are going to open. Now, after routing, it checks first of, first of all about security like CSIF token and many more hooks attached with that or not. After that, after completing routing and security, it goes to application controller. Inside this application controller, it finds about the attachments of drivers, models, libraries, helpers, packages and many more scripts we have attached with controller. After finding all these dependencies with our controller, it again renders the manipulated data to our view file and view file goes to the caching center. It checks that any of the assets file we have previously loaded or not. If not, it will load otherwise it uses from this caching system and render all the data, all the flaw data inside this view file and the user see its output. So this is the flow of a code generator application. So how can we interrelate this image with our first point? So hooks are events which can be called before and the after of execution of a program. It means that when we run any program while going through this controller means we want to run some of the methods, some of the events, some of the functionalities before going to the controller we can make use of by using our hooks. After execution of controller, it means that before executing any method from a controller, if we want to execute some functionality, so we can achieve this functionality also by using hooks. So in small points, we can understand that before execution of a controller, before execution of any of the methods inside controller or after execution of a controller, we can execute some of the events and those events basically call hooks in Codeigniter. So back to slide, this is our first point. Now next second point, hooks feature provides a mean to tap into and modify the inner workings of the framework without hacking the core files. Obviously, if we want to execute some of the functionalities, some of the functionalities before controller, after controller and before execution of a controller's method, we can actually make this functionality without changing any core files in our application. So the second point we understood about that we can execute or modify the inner workings of the framework without hacking the core files. After getting the concept from these two points, so now the main concern is that how can we start working with our hooks. So now there are two hook files in Codeigniter. So firstly is known as inside config folder we have a file something called hooks.php and also we have a folder inside application something called hooks folder. So if we back to our folder structure, now inside this folder structure go to application inside our config folder and this is the first file something called hooks.php. So if I open this file. This is one of the file where we are going to configure our hooks. Now, in the second, we have a hooks folder. If I back to folder structure again, application and this is our hooks folder. So what is the use of this folder and also what is the use of hooks.php file? Back to our 
slides. Click on the next tab. Now, to define a hook in our application, we are going to use called application config folder and this is the file. This is the file what we have opened right here. And also, if we want to enable the hooks functionality in our application, firstly, we need to enable that. So how can we enable? Go to our application folder, config.php, open with gedit, and if here we search about enable hooks, by default the application provides as a boolean false value. If we want to use the functionality of hooks in our application, we need to convert it as a true value. So this is our first point to make use of our hooks. If I close this config.php, back to our second slide, and if I go at the top, now basic steps to start working with hooks. Now firstly, we need to enable inside this config.php file. File, we need to set it as a true value instead of false value. Now next, we need to open our hooks.php file. Inside that file, we need to declare a syntax to use any of our hooks. Now, what basically syntax we have to follow? Now here, I have written an example. By going through this example, we can understand about the syntax declaration or declaration of any hook inside our application. So this is all about hook. As an array variable inside that, we need to pass our hook point name. This is instead of pre-controller, we have several types of hook points we can use accordingly. So this is pre-controller. It basically takes some of the values inside this array. Now first parameter is about class name, function, file name, file path and the parameters. So what basically these parameters means? It means that firstly we need to copy this code and paste inside this hooks.php file. Now while loading our application, firstly the application check inside this hooks.php file. Either we have opened any of or we have declared any of the hooks event inside our hooks.php or not. After finding this pre-controller or let's say post-controller or any of the hook point, it will find about the parameters inside this array. So what basically it means? Firstly, the class. Class means that if we back to application, hooks. Now, after defining any class name, it will find that class inside this hooks folder. We, have, we are going to make multiple files inside this hooks folder. It will find that this is the class name we have defined inside this hooks folder or not. After finding that, it will go inside any of the function, what basically function name we are going to supply here, it will find this function inside this class. And next, we are going to define our file name. Let's say that we are going to make a file, something called abc.php. And here, we are going to define that. So let's say class abc, abc, let's say extends. And this is all about our CI controller. Now inside this class, let's say that we are going to make a method, something called public function and let's say run my simply function. This is the dummy method we have made inside this controller. Now how can we con actually configure with the help of this controller inside our hooks.php file? Let's say that if you go to this slide, copy all these contents back to our file and if I pasting all the codes here so this is pre-controller this hook point it means that it will execute this event while rendering or while before executing our controller means the class name what we have the class name defined something called abc inside this file this is the class name next this is our method name so copy go here replace with that and this is a file name. So file name we had made something called abc.php as we can see. And the file part that we have defined this all these class function and the file inside this hooks folder. And now inside this params section, we can pass the parameters inside this params array. What basically it means? It means that we are going to pass all these three parameters inside the method run my function of this controller. So here we need to receive that. So param1, let's say param2 and something let's say param3. 
So these three parameters basically we have to receive from this syntax declaration. So all we had discussed about how can we initialize our in hook means how can we enable hooks also how can we define our hooks all we had seen by using this hooks.php file and also while making a class file inside hooks folder. So what are the different different hooks we are going to cover inside next video. So in the next video we will see about pre-controller, post-controller underscore constructor and post underscore controller. This is the hook point which basically execute before executing of any controller. This is our controller. Firstly goes request to routing, security and then application controller. So before this controller we execute an event it is go inside this pre-controller hook event. Now next post controller constructor it will be called when executing a method it means that before executing any controllers method this event will be called. For example let's say that we have a controller inside that controller we have 20s of methods so before executing any of the method this post controller constructor hook point will be firstly called. Now next what basically post controller after executing our controller after completing the execution of a methods post controller hook event will be called now this is the video session guys we had covered about the introduction of hooks how can we start working with hooks and type of hook points we will see about the action of these hook points in our application in the next video so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.